Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And today we're talking about a completely new topic. It's about automation. How to make your work in a Google Ads account efficient in terms of time. And this is going to be a very, very, very uh, huge amount of different videos, how I show and how I do, and it's quite complicated to film them all. But today's video is only about how does Google Ads script work. So let's start. Google Ads Script is something that helps you to increase your productivity, to automate repeatedly manual tasks you do every day, the reporting, the bid adjustment, some search term changes, a lot of different small things that takes a lot of time from your everyday work life and to put them on automation part. It also helps to scale your business or business of your client because it helps you to monitor if something bad happens in your account or something good and to make changes fast. And most important, it helps you when you are not able to make changes because we are not able to control stuff every day, 365 days a year. What we want to make, what we actually want the script to check if something happens and to make changes without us involving in the process. Google Ads scripts also gives you an ability to make extraordinary things, for example, to adjust bits when the weather is good or bad or any other stuff changes, or for example, to promote products that have a sale this week or to stop ad groups that are out of stock currently. So this is a very, very cool thing, and I'm not promising you that these abilities are easy to implement, but this is the most important thing that it's possible. And it will take time to actually go and make all the changes you need and to learn this stuff. But after you learn the Google Ads script, your possibilities in Google Ads account will increase massively. Google Ads script has a very, very uh, concrete mission because Google Ads scripts is a very cool thing when you have no more than several thousands of keywords and ad groups in your account. Because if you have several hundreds of thousands, Google Ads scripts just cannot maintain this. Google scripts are the best solution for medium and small businesses because they don't have enough money and they ha have a lot of things to control on to work with the small and medium accounts. When you have a huge account where you have thousands of hundreds of different ad groups and keywords, your only solution will be API except reporting because reporting is not depending on amount of entities. So today I'm going to show you one important link here in presentation and below this video you will find this is the solution library by Google Ads team that actually contain a lot of ready to go solutions that you can just implement. I'm going, I'm going to start with the most, uh, with the easiest one and it's very cool to show how it actually works. So this solution throws information about your account to Google Sheet every day from Google Ads. To do and to implement this because I've already read all this information, but you probably need to read it once more. I just go there and copy the code. Then I go, then I go here, a little bit above, and template and, and make a copy of a template. This is a very important. You push the make copy. I've already done this. I have it all. I have it here. This is a blank copy of a spreadsheet that is going to be filled with the data. You cannot fill absolutely empty spreadsheet because this script takes information from this spreadsheet to fill it every day. So I have this copy, I ha I've copied the code right from here on pushing this button. Now I go, go to my account to the script settings, it's here, settings and then bulk action script. And then I create a new script that is going to be named as account summary. Okay, while it's loading, I'm going to talk to tell you one more thing. When you create the script, script is not just going to be implemented. You need to authorize it. Authorization for the script means that script is not doing something on someone's beha behalf. It's, it, script represents actual account in Google Ads. In this situation, it will represent me inside the Google Ads because it will it will work from my account and when you go to the changes or to history of bulk action you will see like my email doing something inside the Google Ads account. So what I'm doing here, I post the script, I go to the very top of the script 
and I need to put here the spreadsheet URL. So I copy this, put it here, and push save. Another thing, if you have Google Ads spreadsheet, for example, here from one account and a Google Ads account from another, you have to open access from your Google Sheet, for example, from my working Google Sheet email or from my personal email where I have a Google Sheet to my working email where I have the data. So I put authorize, it will ask me which account I wanted to use and what I'm what I given access to do, to do. It also should, by the way, ask me to work with my Google Drive, but probably will ask me again monthly. But it probably will ask me once again later. Okay, we have an er error. It's probably for any other reason. Let's start, let's push preview and authorize once again. Okay, this is the correct. Y you see, it asks me to change something in Google Drive to have an access to my AdWords account and send email. By the way, it's very funny because here they haven't changed it to Google Ads. They have to fix it. Okay, now I authorized the script and all I need to do is just to push preview. Let's have a look. Okay, I have an error. This is the logs. Logs is somewhere when you can check if everything is okay. It asks me to change this to a correct email if I wanted to have an email or to make it blank. I'm going to have it blank because I don't like a lot of emails from the script. Let's run it once again and see what's happening. Okay, it's done. I have the data here for last day, average CPC, click through rate, impression share, and it also puts here the last update date. So each time it goes to this file and checks what's happening, he looks, script looks at this cell and trying to identify how many days he should put here. So I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put the previous month and to rerun the script to get the data for a bigger amount of time. Okay, it took a while for the script, but now I have all the data in my file and it again has the previous day of the report. So next time he goes to the file, he will check it, update it and uh, put here only the new lines that are not in the file. That's all I wanted to show you. That's enough for this lesson. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and ask your comments below this video. And in the next video, I will show you how to write your first script.